Welcome back friends and today I want to go over a technique and application so it's going to look like this you're going in a heel stance the check hand and then the punch you're going to see this in a lot of praying mantis forms so I'll face this way so you can see so heel stance because the check hand and punch. It's not going to go A, B, C. It's going to be A, B, C really fast. It's not going to go here and then here and here because in a street combat confrontation you have to move like a praying mantis would move to catch the cicada or lizard or hummingbird if, if you ever watch like the National Geographic the humming the praying mantis is so lightning quick and that's how you should be if you're going to use this technique so I'll face this direction here and I'm gonna go slow so you can follow along and I'll have my left leg in front heel check and punch. So we have a very special guest. His name is Brandon and he's going to help uh, help with this technique so you can see. So let's have Brandon come along. Okay. So if if someone comes up and starts uh, getting in your face, getting confrontational. Obviously, you don't want your hands down here because you don't want to block with your face. You want to be able to block with your hands and and not even getting in a fist like this because this is showing that you're getting ready for battle. You just throwing your hands up, say, "Hey, calm down. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight." What is it that you want? Just like this and say they're drunk or on drugs or just they just want to test their strength so they 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 throw their right their they want to throw a, a their power punch cuz they most people are head hunters meaning that they most people want to attack the head and they want that that Mike Tyson knockout one punch knock you out put you to sleep so so try to remember that most of the time they're going to throw their, their huge power punch. And some people just throw big haymakers. But that first punch is where you need to react instantly. And you can, you can feel their energy. You can see their intent. And you just kind of throw in the, hey, what do you want? And then they, they decide to throw a punch. And this is where you need to do the technique, the check and strike. So they, you're, you have your hands up. Hey, what do you want? And here, and here. And you can see that the check hand and the heel. So now. Most people are right-handed, so their power play, their power punch is going to be from their right hand. So you want to, if, and, and they get, you can tell by their energy if they get close, they're getting closer and you're kind of backing up and backing up. And then they, they throw that punch here. And you can follow up with strike and opening up or heel but that's a little more uh, we'll go over that combination later so again one more time we'll face this way so you can see this this side so they're getting in their face or they're want to and you and you don't try to try to avoid putting your hands on them because then they can grab 
and they can say that you assaulted them first. So, so if they should advance forward, just try to step back. But if you, if you have to, you can just turn around and run. But if you don't have that option, then you better be prepared to, to do a technique. So this is from, again, the praying mantis technique, where the check and, fit, check and strike. So it's got to be one fluid motion. So you have your hands up. And then they, they want to decide to throw a punch. Here. And you can see that the, the check or the block hand is directing the punch, not a, off to the side. Not, you don't want the punch coming up. You want to direct it. And you want to strike. So this time he's going to strike me like he really means... He, he really wants to destroy me. So, again, you have your hands up, strike. Here. And again, you can see the form, the intent, and the footwork. And even, even if my heel is not directly under him, or directly behind, I can still push this and go straight down, a sweeping. So there's many different combinations, but I just wanted to show you the, that the very uh, basic block and strike. So again, this needs to be all in one motion, not here and then 10 seconds later punching. It has to be like that, and it's got to be over. So again, you have your hands up. Hey, I don't want anything. And they strike with mean intent. Here. And with the heel, you can do a, a lot of different things with the footwork. But that's different, so... We'll cover that in different episodes. But until then, this was the praying mantis check and, and strike. Here. So, and when you practice this, try to remember to practice with, with intent. And your punch should be nice and straight. And the check hand should should be forceful but soft so because of the check hand you can also do different things also and until next time friends have a great day